There are many actions that we've taken since I was appointed on Friday. I want to announce that we've made the first vital step on what will be a long journey for this club. We've settled the employment tribunal case, the legal proceedings with the Zim Rafiq. Absolutely no restrictions have been placed on Azim on what he can or cannot say about his experiences. The settlement, the settlement does not involve a non-disclosure agreement. The club was wrong to have asked Azim to agree to an NDA in the past, and he rightly refused. And we have apologised unreservedly for previously making that demand. Our offer means Azim will be free to speak about his experiences publicly. He is free to answer any questions that are put to him when he wants. And that includes the select committee hearing that's scheduled for the 16th of November. In the spirit of transparency and in light of the investigations now underway, I have shared the full report with relevant parties who have a legal interest in this matter. Azim's lawyers, the England and Wales Cricket Board, the Equality and Human Rights Commission, and the Chair of the Culture, Media and Sports Select Committee. One thing that's really disturbed me this weekend, and I'm deeply troubled by it, I'm deeply troubled to have learned over the weekend that some current staff have been harassed and even received death threats. I categorically condemn this. I'm determined to make this club the beating heart of English cricket again. After 158 years, we're ready to change, we're ready to accept the past, and we're ready to become a club which people can trust to do the right thing. Thank you.